Hey there, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another edition of the Chronicles. Jedi Phoenix with you here, as always. Hope all is well. So, in my previous video, I showed off two lightsabers from two of my sons, the Aeon and the Manticore. And I have two more sabers for you today uh, with this video. Um, first of all, we've got this one. This is the Savior from Ultra Sabers. And it is based on Darth Revan's uh, lightsaber. Again, based on because it's not an exact replica. But this is a Sith lightsaber, by the way. Revan's got uh, two of them out there. There's this one, and then the Butcher, which is not his Sith saber, but you would think it is. If you've ever seen the Butcher, um, at least from Ultra Sabers, it's got this three-prong claw effect on the middle. It looks real, real, real nasty. You would think that would be a Sith one, but no, this is it. So, get my hands free so you can get a good look at this. This is a nice, simple, well, not simple, but very streamlined hilt for doing the spins. Uh, my 15-year-old has this one. And uh, he loves it. He's, he's actually gotten quite good at the obi -Ani. You know, he succeeds where I fail at it. But this saber is definitely made for that. And uh, again, I have this one muted. But let me show you the, the color. We got purple on this one. So purple and gold. And uh, not heavy at all as you swing at it. You know, you can switch back and forth real easy and whirl it and twirl it and do whatever you need to do. It has a real nice choke point. Let me just shut that off. Hang on a minute. Real good choke point right there underneath the emitter for you to put your hand on. And again, the only thing that really gets in the way of your grip is a cover tech wheel. Um, but depending on how you hold it, you know, you can get by that. But uh, this this is definitely a nice one. And uh, this one, I think I saw this on, I think this was 164 on the side for the empty hilt. But... I might pick up one of these for myself. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But he does like this one. And, uh, you know, they've... He's got a lot of use out of it, too. But the one thing that he's not crazy about is the pommel. And um, we actually recently ordered a Grandmaster pommel to put on here. I don't think he's a fan of the way this sticks out. Like it catches on his hand. But with a Grandmaster Palm, it's going to be a little more streamlined. He likes to be able to... I think he likes spinning this around more than he likes the dueling. So, But this saber is made for that. And I do like the little um, the flare around here for the emitter. So, but this is the savior from Ultra Sabers. And um, other companies, of course, do have their own versions. So um, this is just the one that we have, but different names. But if you look for it, you know, if you don't want the Ultra Sabers one, you know, you can go like elsewhere. But this, as far as overall for a hilt, this is definitely a nice one. So if you're looking for your collection, I definitely recommend um, from any company that offers this, definitely go check this one out. But... One more, and this is actually going to round out um, the, the the Phoenix family ensemble, if you will. This one you probably recognize as soon as I'm showing it to you. I don't think I need to tell you who this one is. Um, this is the Archon version 2.1 on Ultra Sabers. It is, of course, modeled after Luke's from Return of the Jedi. And uh, one thing that you'll notice is on the emitter, it has a wider hilt than uh, the more accurate model. 
And Ultra Sabres does have a version 3.1 available with the thin neck. But the one thing I'm hesitant about on the thin necks is uh, the thin neck. I mean, if you're really dueling with it, you run the risk of, you know, of, well, if not snapping, at least bending the neck and causing problems. At least with this one, you get the wide neck and take care of that. The other thing you'll notice is that there's no control box on this one either. So if you want um, a closer replica of the actual Sabre, I don't know if this would be one that you wanted to look for, but the advantage of having no box around is you get a good grip on here uh, for spinning around and just in general hanging on to. Um, as a matter of fact, let me get my, uh, my other one here. I've shown this one previously, the Hasbro Special. And I'm not going to compare quality, but I'm just comparing the actual... You, know, you can see the switch box here is what I'm talking about. It's not on here. But other than that, you know, it's not terribly far off, you know, as far as the overall look. But this one I'll light up for you now. Let's see what uh, what havoc the color wreaks on my... Well, it's not too bad. That is a bright green, though. I like that. I like the way that looks. So, yeah, we had, we had to get the green on this one. So, and uh, one, one brief note about the pommel. This is like the, the regular standard pommel. They have a, a different pommel for this, if you like, that um, gets rid of the black. Um, the highlights is like an all chrome pommel. It's the same shape, though. But... You know, classic design, I guess you could say, on this. But it does look good in green. One thing I do like about the emitter is um, it keeps that uh, that ring around it. You know, if, I'm I'm sure if you've seen the actual prop of Luke Saber, you know the it's got that little flare on the emitter where the beam comes out of. So I am glad they kept that. But, and uh, like the Savior, it's um, easy to hang on to. It's not wide like some other Sabres that, um, that they have. Your hand can go fit around this easy. And if you're hanging, hanging on to it right about here, very good for spinning around, which I'm not going to go too crazy with in here. But... So, that is the Archon 2.1. So, if you're looking for uh, overall models for your collection, I would definitely give these a look. You know, even, again, other companies have their own version of Luke's. So, if you're looking for a more accurate uh, replica, you know, with the box... Um, you know, Crimson Dawn has one, Dark Wolf Sabres has one. But, or get the Empty Hilt if you're not too worried about an exact replica and do whatever you want with it. But in terms of overall uh, look and feel, the, the, I think these are good. You know, my kids agree as well. So, but that is it for now for our lightsaber collection. As I mentioned in the previous video, we have more coming, so stay tuned. And until I get here, I will think of some other content to um, upload on my channel, some quality entertainment for you. But until then, be good, be well, be safe, and be happy.